In today's video, we take a look at the Manador Beast 28 backpack, a technical pack built for outdoor adventures that is both ultralight and also packable. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs, bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting that little bell. Let's dive in and check out the Matador Beast 28. Matador is a carry company based in the US that is known for making adventure travel equipment. They have a number of pack or bags as well as some really good travel accessories. And we've actually done a number of videos on their On Grid series, which is a series of urban styled pack or bags. If you're interested in checking out any of those videos, you can head over to our channel and click the Matador playlist, or you can just click the link above right now. And if you wanna check out the product page of the Beast 28 over the course of this video, there is a link in the description below and also a QR code on the screen that you can scan with your phone camera. If you'd like to keep up to date with news in the carry world, we have a Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter that you can subscribe to, where we talk about that news and where we also give away some gear to our subscribers every month. So if you'd like to get in on that, be sure to be subscribed to the channel and also subscribe to the newsletter. Before we get into the bag, today's watch is from Sterling Original. This is a Maritimer watch. It's got a nice diver aesthetic and it's got a silicon armband. If you're interested in checking this out, there is a link in the description below. Looking at the materials of the Matador Beast 28 liter backpack, the outer fabric features a 210 denier Robic high tenacity nylon, which has a UTS coating, an ultra tear strength coating, which adds up to 30% more strength over traditional PU coatings. It also has a DWR finish for added water resistance as well. The inner fabric is a 100 denier aerobic high tenacity nylon. It's got the same UTS coating and the same DWR finish. As for other materials, we've got YKK zippers, we've got YKK hardware and Wujin hardware. We've got some various points of hypalon throughout the bag and bar tack stitching to reinforce the construction. As for branding, we've got the simple Manador logo here at the top and then we've got a little bit of stitching at the bottom that just says Beast 28 liter. On the front face, we've got Daisy Chain web on both sides here which allow you to attach or lash on any additional gear via carabiners or any hooks. Here I have a hero clip with a mere camp mug. You can just attach it on the side there and then you have accessories that you can store on the exterior of the bag. At the bottom here we have additional accessory loops that allow you to just secure other types of gear in. So if you've got trekking poles, ice axes, anything like that you can loop them through there. And then at the top on both sides here we have these little cinch cords that allow you to secure the top parts of your gear. So if you are carrying trekking poles or ice axes, you can loop them through there and then loop them through here, cinch them down so they're nice and secure, nice and stable on your pack. On the sides of the bag, we have water bottle pockets, stretchy water bottle pockets that are mesh as well, so you can actually see inside there. At the moment, they're quite flush against the bag, but they have an elastic cuff here at the top, which allows them to stretch out to store gear inside. So here I have a vacuum insulated 20 ounce Stanley water bottle, fits in there perfectly fine, but it'll also stretch out to fit a 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle. Also on both sides of the bag, you have a compression strap, which you can compress the bag down if you're carrying light, but if you have taller items inside the bag, you can also use this to secure and stabilize the gear inside these water bottle pockets. Looking at the harness system, we have a fairly lightweight, but also very padded and breathable harness system. We have wide contoured shoulder straps that taper along the bottom for a better ergonomic fit on the body. The shoulder straps feature an EVA foam padding that is perforated, so it has a lot of breathability and comfort there. On both sides of the shoulder straps, we have these Hyperlon loops here, which just allow you to lash additional gear on. So this is an Olight brass torch. On this side, we have the Matador logo on that Hyperlon loop. And then further below, we have an adjustable sternum strap. This uses a YKK sternum strap. And here you can see there are six points of adjustment here for the sternum strap. So you can properly align the sternum strap to where your sternum is when you're carrying the bag. On the sternum strap, we have a little bit of elastic webbing just to manage that strap slack. And then further below, we have Wujin ladder locks and again, elastic webbing to manage the strap slack. On the back panel, we have that same EVA perforated padding here. So it'll provide a nice comfortable and breathable back panel and will do well to prevent that sweaty back that you often get on longer trails. We have a small center channel here for airflow. And then at the bottom here, we have a removable and padded hip belt. So as you can see, the hip belt has that same EVA perforated padding on the other side on the outside of the hip belt we actually have zippered mesh pockets 
which you can use to store additional gear. So maybe in these pockets you could store nutrition, snacks, smaller accessories. If you're carrying a camera on this trail, you might store some SD cards or maybe a small battery in them. Just good pockets there for you to store additional gear. The hip belt buckle utilizes a YKK buckle and we've also got elastic webbing to manage strap slack. Again, as mentioned, this is a removable hip belt. So if you choose not to use it, perhaps you're not carrying too much, it's a lighter trail, you might not need to use a hip belt. You can actually remove it via the Velcro underneath and then you also have to unloop it from the bag via this G-hook. At the top of the bag, we've got a quick grab handle for you to hang the bag off any hooks or just grab it up and off the ground. And then just above that, we have a little pass-through loop here for hydration and we'll take a look at that later on. Okay, so let's take a look inside the compartments of the bag. We've got two main external compartments on this bag. One compartment that takes this front area and then we've got our main compartment. So the one on the front here has this U-shaped zipper, YKK U-shaped zipper, and it takes all of this dimension on the top here. So you could pack any performance apparel in there, whatever you want, shells, downs, things like that. Inside, I've just got a Patagonia cap. I've also got a Patagonia torrent shell jacket. And then I've also got a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Versa fanny pack. So that takes up all of this space here. It goes up to about this part of the bag. It has a decent amount of dimension, as you can see. But just at the top here, we have a small zippered compartment, which allows you to store smaller bits of gear so they don't get lost in all of this space. Inside there, I've got a pair of polarized sunglasses from Sunski. I've got a small waterproof travel canister from Matador, which is good for just storing small bits and bobs. You can store medicine in there or snacks, anything like that. This is also from Matador. And then here, I've got the somewhere labs global hotspot now if you're taking this bag on outdoor adventures places that are remote or rural this is a really useful tool to have with you at your disposal it provides 100 global satellite coverage it has a really user-friendly app and also tracking to make sure that you never get lost if you're going on a trail with a group of friends you can also use this together so it's a really useful tool to stay in contact and also to ensure safety if you're interested in checking this out there is a link in the description below so that was the front compartment there we're going to move on to the main compartment and it utilizes a zipper that goes about three quarters of the way around kind of opening almost clamshell again we've got those YKK zippers with the Hyperlon pull tabs so inside the main area I've just got an Arc'teryx covert cardigan fleece I've got an Evergoods civic access pouch for tech and other accessories and then I've also stored inside a pair of sandals from bedrock sandals really comfortable sandals now inside you can see that 100 denier aerobic high tenacity nylon inside it's this nice bright gray neutral color so you can see everything inside your pack hopefully you can see on this side here there is a small zippered compartment that uses up this amount of space and you can also store small bits and pieces inside there so I've got an Everyman Grafton pen, my Leatherman Rebar multi-tool, and there is also a little key leash for you to securely attach your keys. So I've got my Orbit key attached on there. And then at the back panel, we have a little sleeve for the hydration bladder. You can see it's clipped on via a YKK buckle, and there's also stabilization straps here to secure and suspend the hydration bladder. So here I have a Hydropack hydration bladder. This is the Force 3 liter hydration bladder. It's not filled up, this is just for demonstration purposes. So once you've got the hydration bladder installed in there, you simply need to port your tube through that back top port. Just feed that tube through. And then you have easy access to hydration when you're on the trail. Although typically you probably won't be storing beer in a bag like this for posterity's sake, we're going to conduct our rush faster beer capacity test to see how many tinny six packs can fit inside this 28 liter backpack. I think we'll only fit three in there, but again, we've got all this space at the top and then we've also got that large dimension in that front compartment there. Now, one thing to note about the Matador Beast 28 is that it does have a little brother, the Matador Beast 18 liter backpack. It's mostly the same in terms of features and it does have a smaller volume capacity, obviously, but one of the main differences in the features is that on the hip belt, it does not have zippered mesh pockets here. So only on the Beast 28 do you have these mesh 
pockets here on the hip belt. Now a common standout feature on Manador backpacks is that they are performance backpacks that can be packable. So this backpack can be packable, it has a flexible frame sheet which contours and flexes with your body but also means that it can be actually compressed down into a packed state. So the Beast 28 and the 18 come with these packable bags that give you a little bit of instruction on how to actually pack the bag down. You flatten it, you twist it in the middle and then you fold it on itself and then pack it inside this little cinch bag. Okay, so what you want to do before you compress the bag is make sure all the straps are tucked away, all the other straps, shoulder straps, especially the hip belt if you haven't removed it. And you want to grab both ends, twist from the middle and then fold onto itself. Make sure it's all nice and tucked away in a manageable packed state like so. Grab the bag and start wrapping around it. So there it is packed up. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but a really useful option to pack the bag down just to conserve space when you're storing it away. Or if you are going traveling and you do plan to go on a little hike, you can also pack this inside your luggage and have it in this nice stored state. Okay, so this is the Manador Beast 28 liter backpack on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well everyone, that is the Matador Beast 28 backpack. It is a super durable backpack with a comfortable harness system, plenty of storage. It's packable, not to mention it's lightweight at one pound, eight ounces, making it super easy for a day hike, even for a multi-day hike. So if you're interested in getting this bag or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are links in the description below. Using any of those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And as always, if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. But we'd love to hear your thoughts about this bag. What do you think about it? What do you think about it compared to the old iteration of the Beast backpacks? And are there any other competitors of this bag in the market today? We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. If you wanna see more videos like this or more videos from Matador, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Matador Beast 28 liter backpack. Take care and we'll see you next time. <music>